Bienvenidos a Yomon Games. Hoy os traigo The Black Mirror. Os dejaré un enlace en la descripción por si os lo queréis descargar gratis. Y empezamos. Dear Sally, it was not easy for me to find fitting words for these first lines that I hope you are reading, as well as it was not easy to find out where you were living. I hope that my letter will reach your hands as soon as possible, as there is not much time left. Since your departure, I have contributed all my efforts and endless hours of sleepless nights looking for the truth about our family. I feel that I am already very close to beholding its full face, and I am concerned that I might not have the strength to look at it alone. Therefore, I am turning to you, Samuel, for I know that you will hear out my plea. In this envelope, you will find the ancient ring of our heritage. It is very important that you always have it with you. Take extraordinary care of it. Please return to our manor and help me. I know my time is closing in. I can feel it. I am afraid. After the funeral, we jointly returned to Black Mirror. The journey through the desolate countryside seemed endless. No one spoke a single word. When our glances met, they were full of deep sorrow. It wasn't merely grief, however, that was in our eyes. It was also a certain alienation that Victoria and Robert felt towards me. My unexpected return after more than twelve years gave them the freedom to ask all kinds of unspoken questions. I am truly sorry about what happened. Thank you, Heinz. I don't know what else I should say. William was everything to me, and now... You need not say anything, Victoria. Today is a sad day for all of us. I think I will leave you alone now, if you will excuse me. You don't have to go. You are a good friend to us, as you were to William. I value your words. But I think I had better go now. Please be our guest, I beg you. I would be happy to, if that is your wish. 
I would like to skim through certain volumes in your library, if you would not mind them. No, not at all. Thank you. I will be in the library. Bates, should Heinz need anything, please be of help to him. Of course. You can rely on that, madam. Do not want to sound harsh, but I think we should leave you alone. You are empathic as usual, Robert. I want to be alone with my thoughts for a while. That is quite understandable. Samuel, would you see me to my study? Yes, gladly. Oh, Samuel, please stay. I'd like a word with you. Certainly. Will you excuse me, Robert? We will talk later. I will be in my study. Samuel, tell me, have you returned to stay with us for good? To tell the truth, I haven't decided yet. Give me some more time, please. Don't forget, we are still your family. You are a Gordon, and you belong here just like all the other Gordons before you. Yes, I am well aware of that, but I need to put my thoughts in order. Perhaps then I'll be able to answer your question. Oh well, I hoped you'd say yes. I'm not feeling well. Please excuse me now, Samuel. Of course. I will go to my room. Sir, I took the liberty to clean up your room. I believe you will be satisfied with the results. Here is the key. Your suitcase is already in the room. Thank you, Bates. Victoria wants me to stay. Maybe I should have promised I would. But I haven't made up my mind yet. Maybe later. Bates has readied my room. I should go have a look. The door is locked. Bates gave me his key. I can open it. This place hasn't changed at all. As though I were only away for a few days. Welcome home, Samuel. old painting. I don't know who its author was. It's cold in here. I'll tell Bates to light up the fireplace. I only have a few necessities in it. I'll take the pills, in case my head starts to ache again. I'll surely need the wallet. I can't see anything interesting. There are some coins in it. often have headaches these days. I'd better keep them. 
William's morning card. William's portrait of my dear Catherine. She died in those horrible flames. And it was my fault. I will never forgive myself for that. The night silhouette of our castle. The drawings of the Gordon Manor in Wales. William drew those when he lived there as a young man. Catherine would comb her beautiful hair in front of it every morning. It's best not remembered. only had a couple of things and an old camera in it as far as I recall. But where did I keep the key? I'll have a look around the room. It has to be here somewhere. I'll try reaching up there. There is something there. The key to my drawer. I need... They're too old to be used. no need to take pictures of anything. My holy Bible. I don't want to rest now. William's favorite canvas. Someone from the family painted it about 300 years ago. Today's paper. I'll have a look. Hmm. There seems to be a note of some sort inside. Robert, I have only now received your letter. I have only letter. now received your letter. That permanently drunken goof whom you have paid to be the messenger brought it late. I will take care of your parcel as usual. Do not worry. Fortunately, no one cares about anything in this godforsaken place. P.S. I suggest you give more money to that blockhead Mark next time. I'll put it back so that Robert finds it where it's supposed to be. Robert, may I speak with you for a moment? Oh, we haven't seen each other for such a long time. How many years has it been? Twelve, maybe more. A long time indeed. I am happy that you have returned. I have not come to stay. 
I came only to be here for William's funeral. Really? That's a pity. I thought you would stay with us for a few months at least. Maybe you can still change your mind. So, what do you want to talk about? What do you think about what happened to William? That is a strange question. What should I think about it? I don't believe it was an accident, let alone suicide. I am afraid you are jumping to conclusions, Samuel. You don't happen to think it was a murder, do you? No. But really, who would want to kill themselves in the autumn of their life? William was a very old man. Look, William was alone in the tower when it happened, and the door was locked from the inside. So a stranger's intervention is impossible. So why didn't he leave a letter? That I do not know, and I do not even want to think about it. Trying hard to get my thoughts away from William's death, and I absolutely don't feel like talking about it. How is it possible that Robert is not at all interested in this? Am I the only one who wants to know the truth of what happened to William? The castle is falling into disrepair. How long can it last like this? It has been standing here for hundreds of years, and it is not going to decay any time soon. It will outlive us, just as it has outlived our ancestors. But the old wing is on the verge of falling down. It was already on the verge of falling apart when I was born. Yet it still stands. Why hasn't anyone tried to restore it? Oh, sure they have. About a hundred years ago, Werner Gordon attempted to repair it. Why are you saying attempted? Well, he was not the first one who had tried it. The new structure never lasted more than a couple of years. The original castle foundations that Marcus and Mordred jointly laid are within those walls. It is as though the old stones do not want to accept the new ones. Strange, indeed. So what has been happening around here since I've been away? Hmm. Things are rather odd, but I have no recollection of anything special. Are there any new families? No, I do not believe so. In fact, the only person to have moved here is Dr. Herman. We also have a different groom and a different gardener than the ones you knew. I've been away for 12 years, and all that has happened is that we have two new servants. Well, no one is clamoring to live around here. You know that yourself. Yes, nothing really has changed. It's almost scary. I will go now. All right. Feel free to come back if you need anything, Samuel. Should have been me that ended up in the flames, not her.
This one is long retired. It's made of black marble. There's nothing in it. There's nothing in it, just dust. The door is locked. The door is locked. The canvas has been entirely destroyed by the flames. Just ashes. Something is glittering in the ashes. The remnants of a torn up photograph.
never seen this face before. But who could have thrown the picture in that fireplace? And why did they take care to tear it up first? Victoria wants to be alone. I'm not going to disturb her. Glad you have returned, sir. We have kept your room intact. It's exactly as it was when you left. Very nice. Thank you. If you would like to have it straightened or anything else, just tell me. That won't be necessary. It happened so suddenly. I didn't have time to write that I was coming. I would be happy to help you with anything. Thank you. I'll be fine. Do you need anything else, sir? I have spoken to Robert. It seems to me he may not be feeling well. It is probably due to his responsibilities at Ashbury. Lately it seems to really exhaust him. He has recently taken to spending most of his time at work, often not even returning home for the night. He usually arrives in the evening, locks himself in his study, and works late into the night. He won't even let me in. He may just not want to be disturbed. Maybe. But he would never do that before. Hmm. I'll talk to him. All right, sir. I was under the impression that nothing had changed here since I left. So many years have passed, but it seems to me like it was just last month. The same scenery, the same weather. As though time would rather avoid this place. Sir, a lot has changed in your absence. Nothing is as it was, believe me. We are all growing old, and so is everything around us. I've been a servant here since my youth, and I know well how much a man can be changed by this place. During the last few months, things have been getting noticeably worse, day by day. It is as if the bleakness within the old walls of this manor is gradually taking us over. Hmm? Maybe you're right. Then I don't feel exactly well within these walls. at me that I've wanted to forget. Range and dark in them. And that dismal silence. Bates, could you please light up the fireplace in my room? It's quite cold in there. 
Oh, pardon this old servant, sir. I had completely forgotten about it. I will be happy to light up your fireplace. Also, if you need the room cleaned up properly, please say so. It was abandoned for over 12 years, and one hasty cleanup is insufficient? No, the room is all right. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. I need the key to the attic. Do you know where I can find it? It is hanging in the kitchen right next to the cellar door. You cannot possibly miss it. I'm going to need the key later today. Can you please put it back afterwards, sir? Of course I'll return it. Thank you. Are you sure you're all right, Bates? You know, you can take a rest whenever you want. Thank you, sir. I think I will be fine. Have a look at this picture. Do you know this man? Hmm. He does not look familiar to me. I am not very good at remembering faces, though. Sorry, sir. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. Doctor, can I have a word with you? Yes, all right. It's William. I know you were his friend and also his physician. Yes, that applies to your whole family. So, what is it that troubles you, Gordon? You do realize that this is not the appropriate time to speak about William. I don't believe it was an accident. Hmm. Well, it is strange indeed. Then why would he do it? And those burns? What burns? Numerous, deeply burned areas. I have no clue as to their origin. Go on. No, Mr. Gordon. Come back tomorrow. I will gladly tell you everything. I really do not want to talk about this today. All right. Then expect me tomorrow. I will certainly come back. Dr. Herman knows something important. I have to talk to him tomorrow. Have you ever seen this man? No, I have not. He looks like someone I would remember if I had seen him. I'll come back later. Fresh apples and a few sweets. Almond sweets from Switzerland. I like these best. Chocolate sweets with almond in the middle. I have always liked these. This is the key to the attic. I'll take it.
He won't tell me anything more today. It's locked. The entrance to the tower is nailed shut. I must get rid of these barrier boards somehow. this with my bare hands. William had his study behind those windows. If I want to find out what actually happened, I must get inside somehow. My name is Samuel Gordon. You are Morris, the groom, aren't you? Yes, sir. I know who you are. Bates told me about you. I would like to ask you about something, Morris. What can you tell me about Bates? What do you want to know? Well, I don't know exactly. He's different from when I knew him. To me, he seems to be the same all the time. The same old standoffish mope. He wasn't like that before. That's possible. I've only known him for the couple of years that I've worked here. So how many years have you been working here? Almost five. Morris, how did you get along with William? Well, like a groom with the horse owner. Okay, I guess. He's only spoken a few sentences to me in all the time that I've been working here. I mean, I saw him very seldom. I see. Morris, you are right next to the old wing. Can you see inside the old tower from your room? What do you mean? I never go there. Who told you that? It was that old drunkard, right? I was just asking, why are you so upset? I knew that Flores bastard was spreading gossip about me again. He tells you anything. Don't believe him, sir ends to get smashed and talk out of his ass. Sure, but you've been to the old wing, right? Yes, but only out of curiosity. I've got no reason to go there. And it's a strange place anyway. What do you mean? 
Well, I haven't exactly got a good feeling about it. I feel like I'm being watched by something older than the centuries within those old, damp walls. And the silence, it makes one feel as if one cannot speak. Frankly, I'm glad I don't have any work to do there. Morris, look here. Do you know this man? Hmm. I wouldn't say so. I've never seen him around here. Okay. Thank you. I will go then. All right, sir. It's dry. No one has taken water from it in a long time. I'll leave him to his work. Hmm. I should be able to get rid of the barrier boards on the door to the tower. It's rusty, but it works. Red wine from our cellar. How did the bottle get here? Hmm. I'll ask Morris where he got it. There's enough light in here during the day. Morris, do you have a moment? Sure. Morris, I've noticed you have a bottle of wine on your workbench in the stable. Wine? I sometimes take a sip when it's cold outside, but never during work. It appears to be our vintage red. Where did you get it? Well, uh, Sir William gave it to me some time ago. Just this one bottle. Really? Yes, sir. All right, Morris. I do not believe that William would have given away some of our best wine. Morris must have gotten it some other way. I will go then. All right, sir. This is the place where William took his last breath. I won't leave before I find out the truth. Good morning. Good morning, sir. My name is Henry. I take care of the garden. It's not an easy job. I don't have anyone to help me. But you probably wanted to speak about something else, sir. What can I do for you, sir? 
I would just like to ask a few questions. How long have you been working here, Henry? About a year, sir. The garden seems rather deteriorated. Everything used to blossom around here, but now... I'm trying hard, sir, but I can't get everything done just by myself. This garden is really a lot of work, sir. Tell me, Henry, what did you think of William? I didn't really know him, sir. I'd scarcely seen him. You have worked here every day and you hardly saw him? Well, you see, Sir William wouldn't go to the garden very often, and I only do what Madame Victoria tells me. Bates was the only one allowed in his study. He wouldn't let anyone else in. Is there anything else you can tell me about him? I don't really feel like talking about him with you. Why not? Hmm... How would I put it? Everyone reckoned he was a bit of a loony. You know what I mean. Go on. I don't really want to talk about it with you, sir. Please ask someone else. What does that mean? Why would anybody perceive William as mad? Henry, do you recognize the man in this picture? Have you ever seen him? No, sir. I don't think I have. Who is it? Should I know him? No, probably not. I just wanted to know if you had ever met him. I'm sorry, sir. I will leave you to your work. Its water used to be crystal clear. I'll tell Henry to clean it up. It can't stay this dirty. Henry? Yes? Why doesn't anyone maintain the rear garden? I don't know, sir. Probably because nobody ever goes there. And what about the fountain? There used to be fish in it once. I have no problem with the rear garden as such but I want you to clean the fountain. But, sir, isn't that rather futile? I mean, it can't even be seen from the front. It's going to be a lot of wasted work. Either you clean it by tomorrow, or you can start looking for a new job. As you wish, sir. I will leave you to your work. This is where our mail is brought. At least it used to be.
Hmm. I'd be interested to know where these stones came from. I had better get hold of a map. There is probably one somewhere in the library. Old books and scrolls. They probably fell off the pile on the chair. Lots of books for long evenings. I haven't got time to read them now. This bookcase is full of old dust-covered books. I don't think I could find one that would interest me. He won't tell me anything more today. Tomorrow I will go see him in his home. The map of our manor. It might come in handy. I'll take it. They'll be full of books or old paper. I won't bother opening them. Just more books. There's no point in skimming through these books. Not one of them can help me find out what happened. The statue is holding something strange in its hand. It appears to be a key of some sort, or an amulet. William's work table. He used to spend hours and hours at it, writing. A Chronicle of the Warm Hill Manor. The local parish has been here for a very, very long time. According to the oldest books and records, it has been here for so long that only the walls of our castle may remember its foundation. Marcus Gordon had the church built so long ago that the date has already been lost in the mists of time. Therefore, the actual age of the building can only be estimated, as in the past there was no accurate record keeping. Should we hold to the views of respected historians, it was around 1215 AD that the church was built. It is thought that Marcus had the church built on pagan lands where many innocent people died through the ages. There is no corresponding record to this, however. Not one mention in any books or volumes available to me at the manor or the vicarage. Therefore, from a historic standpoint, this is a mere assumption, or worse, one of the many fictitious legends circulating in these lands.
One thing, however, is more certain. It was this age that also gave rise to the academy at Black Mirror. As with Warm Hill Church, it was Marcus who was responsible for the construction of such a significant building. The new academy with its vast library was supposed to serve as a knowledge base for all the people. It was also a safe place for depositing the chronicle of the Gordon family that Marcus ordered his wise men to protect. In this, however, fate was not kind to Marcus. The whole academy burnt to stone long after his death, around 1512 AD. Despite the vigorous effort of the people at the manor, who hurried to the disaster to fight the flames, the academy burned to the ground. When they saw there was no chance to save the building, they tried to save the records from inside. Not everyone was willing to risk their life in lethal heat for the scraps of paper that had been scribbled over. If it hadn't been for a few brave souls, however, we would have never known who Marcus Gordon was, nor some of the history of Black Mirror Manor, as most chronicles were lost to the flames. Gar Moore Gordon perished in the fire at the age of 45. For his bravery, eternal memory is held. There was no one left of the academy to care for the remaining records and old books. Consequently, the volumes that remained were passed on to the Warm Hill Parish to the St. Father Matthias took meticulous care of the historical treasure until his death in 1543. To that holy man, the people of Garmoor Gordon are grateful for the preservation of the chronicle and the old records. Since those times, the Gordon family chronicle has been handed over from one successor of Father Matthias to the next, until today. Recorded by hand of Jeremy Gordon, 1632 AD. You won't tell me anything tomorrow? Mordred Gordon, the heartless ruler of the dark ages of our history. His rule was ended by his own brother Marcus in 1213. This is where Bates leaves our mail. There is no letter now. Victoria wants to be alone.
It's locked. free of obstacles. Damn! The door is locked. I need to speak with you, Robert. Sure. I spoke with Bates. Why don't you allow him into your study? Did he tell you this? You see, I just don't want anyone to disturb me all the time. I have enough of my own problems and can do without his civility. What's the matter? Nothing special, I guess. I just happen to have a bit more work than usual these days. Robert, look at this old picture. Do you know who this might be? Hmm. No, I do not know that person. Why are you asking? I found the picture in the old wing, torn to pieces in a fireplace. Given the fact that someone has torn up the picture, the person in it is probably not anyone important. Forget about it. I will go now. All right. Feel free to come back if you need anything, Samuel. Victoria is in the common. I'll come back later. Marcus Gordon, the younger of the two brothers that began our dynasty. I don't know what we could top. It looks like blood. How is this possible, though?
Do you need anything, sir? Henry, there's blood in the grinder in front of the greenhouse. Where did it come from? But that's impossible, sir. I only put branches in it. Are you quite sure? Hmm. Perhaps you're right. I probably imagined it. I should probably take a rest. Who knows what I've seen? I will leave you to your work. There is nothing here. I could swear I had seen blood. I'd better take my medication. The door is locked. I would like a word with you. Certainly, sir. I'm... Henry, I went to the greenhouse and found it locked. Why? I lock it during the day as well, just to be safe. To be safe? I don't want anyone wandering about the place. Do we have strangers walking around here then? No, sir. That's not the problem, but I've seen Morris around there a couple times, and he's got no business there. The greenhouse and the garden are both my responsibilities. I usually lock it so that I can be sure nothing gets lost. But if you want to have a look inside, sir, I'll open it. No, I only wanted to know why it was... What could Morris be looking for in the greenhouse? Hmm. I will leave you to your... Yes, sir. The gardener, what is he like? Henry? A quiet type of person, I'd say. As long as he's sober, that is. You know what I mean. I was unaware of his drinking. You can bet on it, sir. When he's in the mood, he closes himself in his room and drinks until he can't lift his head. Usually, he just sits there, staring at nothing and drinking. I'd say that is quite odd, isn't it? Odd indeed. He does not seem like a drunkard to me. Well, you can trust me, and you're bound to see for yourself anyway. I will go then. All right, sir. Smoke from the leaves smells nice.
He would often come here to make paintings and sometimes would spend whole days here. The Black Mirror Castle. I would like a word with you. Certainly, sir. I'm listening. That picture behind us, Henry, when did William paint it? A long time ago, sir. When he still went out to the garden. Madam ordered me to leave it here. So I've been taking care of it. Sir William sure was talented. Don't you think, sir? Yes, he was. I will leave you to your work. There is nothing in it. I have lit the fire in your room as you wished, sir. Thank you, Bates. It was quite cold in there. I will return to my duties now. If you need something, I will be downstairs in the hall. All right. Place is lit. It's warm in here now. of anything. Its water used to be crystal clear. I put the key back where I found it.
Victoria wants to be alone. I'm not going to disturb... Bates? Yes, sir? You're not looking well. Why don't you take a couple of days off? Thank you, sir. I will be all right. It's just William. We lived our best years together here. Indeed. You must have become very good friends over time. Yes. Please, let us not talk about this further. There has been enough sorrow lately. Bates, I want you to know that you're more of a friend to us than a servant. Thank you, sir. Bates, this might seem strange to you, but I would like to see the exact spot where William died. Oh, but why, sir? I have my reasons. Oh, well. Follow me if you insist. This is where the awful thing happened. Please, just do not ask me to describe it to you. I have told the detective everything already, and I would not want... No, that's all right, Bates. Why all of this then, sir? I can feel something is not right. I just don't know what. Have you found anything unusual around here? No. Uh, maybe just... We noticed a strange spot under the tower window. Right there. No one knows where it came from. If you would allow me, sir, I'd rather go now. Certainly. I knew Bates wouldn't understand why I was doing this. Something tells me things aren't quite as they seem. It looks like a symbol of some sort, or a sign. I should put this down somehow. It looks like a sim- I should- should still work. Hmm. There's no film in it, and my old films are useless. May I disturb you for a few moments? I would like to ask a couple of questions. All right. I'm listening. I need film for my camera. Do you know where I can get some? Well, perhaps down in Willow Creek. But hold on, I think I may have a couple of rows myself. They should probably still be usable. Can you give me one? I would be happy to. 
but I put them in the attic with some other old things. It is in my chest. That's the one right round the corner. You'll have no problem finding it. Thank you. I'll... Sure. Take all the film you need. I have no use for it. Morris and Henry don't seem to like each other. They've got some battles going on, but unless they bump into each other too often, they cause no harm. But I don't really care about their silly problems. I went to the attic to get that film, but your chest is locked. May I borrow your key? Locked? Oh, I, I have entirely forgotten about that. Sorry. Here's the key. Thank you. I'll bring it back. You needn't hurry. I use it so infrequently. Morris says that Henry drinks quite a bit. I don't like that very much, to tell you the truth. Neither do I. But there was no one else to take the job. So we have basically put up with that habit of him. He has not done anything wrong yet, anyway. Not yet, right? I will go now. All right. Feel free to come back if you need anything, Samuel. Hopefully, it's going to work. I don't need anything else from it. I'm out of practice, but I guess the film is installed properly. Thing, Samuel. I would like to ask about something. Here's your key back, Robert. Oh, thanks. Have you found what you needed? Yes, I have. I must go now. Right then. I'll return to my work. All I need to do now is have the film developed. But where do I get it developed? I need to speak with you, Robert. Sure. Robert, do you know where I can get that film you gave me developed? Hmm. I only know of Murray in Willow Creek. 
I go to him myself when I need some pictures developed. He has a dark room in his pawn shop. Do you know where it is? Yes, I remember that shop. Try him. I guess I should go there. I will go now. All right. Feel free to come back if you need anything, Samuel. I don't want to leave now. He won't tell me anything more tomorrow. I'll come back later. Bates? Yes, sir? Why is the entrance to the old tower blocked? Madam ordered me to nail the door shut so that she would not have to think about that place ever again. She does not want anyone to enter William's study. I see. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. I have nothing to t I'll stay here. I don't know what. There's quite a lot of... Victoria wants to be alone. 
Now it works as it should. The founding stone of the original castle that Marcus and Mordred jointly laid in 1206. It's made of a single piece of some strange stone, charged with a peculiar kind of energy, as William would say. The atmosphere of centuries long gone can be felt around it. He won't tell me anything more tomorrow. It seems like something's missing here. Anything, sir? Hmm? I don't need anything from here. Spice grinder. It's just a decoration. It doesn't work. Its water used to be crystal clear. Don't know what. There is nothing in it. I have no reason. We've already said... Robert didn't have lunch. Victoria is... Jennifer.
collection of old pictures. I don't want to remember that time. Victoria is in. I have no. frames and other old useless there is nothing in it just a few sheets of old scrolls and it's quite well preserved No idea where the key could be. I should ask Victoria. I have no idea where the key. I should ask Victoria. I can't. I know I should leave Victoria alone, but I... Victoria, I know you want to be alone, but I must ask you about something that only you can answer. Maybe it will help to get some fresh thoughts. Memories can become so tiring. During the last few years, I have had plenty of time with my thoughts. What is it that you want to talk about, Samuel? Victoria, I need the key to William's study. I know that you insist that no one go in there, but... No one is allowed to set foot in there. Why are you talking about that place to me, Samuel? Why are you making me think of it? I just wanted... Go away. I need to... Of course. I should leave Victoria alone, now that I have offended her. I'll apologize later. Do you need anything, sir? I would like to ask you about something. Bates, I said something inappropriate to Victoria. Do you think she will accept my apology? Certainly, sir. Madam has a good heart. But, if I may advise you, sir, offer your apology as soon as possible. I think I will go now. I'll return.
should apologize. May I speak with you for a while, Victoria? Of course, Samuel. I'd like to apologize for what I said before. I may have been hasty in my response as well. I had that key destroyed so that no one can ever enter the tower again. Maybe William had another key, I do not know. Where are his personal belongings now? I do not know, I... Ask Herman, I do not want to talk about it. Victoria, why was William hiding away in his study? No one saw him go outside, and he would not let anyone in. Why all the secrecy? I don't know, Samuel. About half a year ago, he closed himself in that damn tower and spent whole days and nights there. He never told me what he was doing. When I asked, he merely stated that he was looking for the truth and that he would not stop until he found it. It entirely absorbed him, and you know how it ended. I hope that he has found his truth. I hoped I would not have to return to this place ever again. And even now, I'm not sure if I should have. I did not dare hope you would come. The letters to you were all returned, and no one from the family had seen you in years. As time passed, we assumed you were dead. I didn't open a single one of them. I wanted to forget it all. Only that morning letter. I had to open that one. Maybe I should have left it unread like the other ones. Your words are cold, Samuel. If it hadn't been for William's death, I would have never returned. I returned because of William only. I don't expect you to understand it. Bates isn't looking well. He's old and very tired. He should take a rest. I would suggest that to him myself, but I know he does not want to be alone right now. He and William were friends long before I knew him. He has worked here all his life, just like his father before him. He feels comfortable to be with us, I am sure. That person who was with us at the funeral, who is he? Dr. Herman, our family physician. But it would be more accurate to say, our family friend. I had never heard of him. Well, how could you? He moved here long after you had gone away. He's a good man. He was a friend to William and has helped us a good deal. Until William began avoiding people, they were often together. Why are you interested in Heinz? I don't know him, so I wanted to know who he is. Do you need anything, Victoria? No, thank you, Samuel. I am all right. Maybe just... No, you needn't worry. I'll ask Bates. That new gardener, Henry, I've heard he drinks. He is not new here. He has been working for us for over a year now. What you have heard is true, but it does not happen very often. Except for that particular habit, he is polite and hardworking. I'm surprised you're saying this. Does his drinking not bother you? Well, I do, but I would have trouble finding anyone else for the job. 
Replacing him with a new gardener couldn't possibly be a problem, could it? Maybe not a few years ago, but now you haven't been here in a long time. A lot has changed, Samuel. No one wants to work for us, not after what happened. People are superstitious. They see dark forces in everything. I'm glad that he has stayed, even if my garden looks so miserable. But why are you asking about Henry? Is it that you know something about him that I should know too? No, not really. Morris said Henry acts strangely from time to time. Morris? That hardly surprises me. He is strange himself. If I had someone to take over his job, he wouldn't be here now. That reminds me. I ordered him to board up the old well, so there is no possibility of an accident there. Samuel, would you please see to it that he does it today? Of course. I spoke with Robert about the old wing. He said its walls were the only remnants of the original castle. That is true. It is all that survived the burn. I do not recall anyone that had conquered the castle in the past. No one conquered it, at least not in the true sense of the word. The castle was half destroyed in a conflict between the first Gordons. Marcus knew he could not rise against his brother's people directly. Therefore, he decided to take him by surprise in the secret chapel deep under the castle. Mordred realized this too late and the consequences were terrible. But those are merely old legends, just old stories. That secret chapel you have spoken of, it must be somewhere beneath us. Nobody has ever found a trace of the entrance, let alone the whole chapel, Samuel. It's merely an old legend from the Chronicle. What happened to Marcus after Mordred died? He became the lord of the manor and died a long time later, a tired old man. As a tribute to his leadership, they buried him in a secret crypt. Today no one knows where his body rests. Do any further records of his life still exist? None that I know of. Can you have a look at this picture? Do you know who this man is? Hmm. I've seen that face before. Yes, but not exactly this one. What do you mean? He was much younger than this picture, but it was the same person. So, who is it? William once brought an orphan here, and offered him food and shelter for a couple of days. He lived for a time outside by the stable, a humble, quiet boy. Do you know what his name was? It was a very long time ago. He stayed with us for quite some time. But then he com we could not let him stay here after that. Th what happened to him then? I really do not know. As I said, it was a very long... Robert might remember. It was he who accepted that boy as a pay... An old issue of a magazine on nature. Lucky arrow. Nine victories and one... I can't... Yes. Eight... One of my... this can... strange... I have nothing to look for, it most likely can... Sir? Hmm?
Morris, I would like... What do you need, sir? Morris, what are you going to do when you're finished with the wood? I don't know yet, but there's always enough work. Have you got anything special for me? Victoria would like the old well boarded up. I know about that, sir. I'll get to it shortly. I will go then. All right, sir. don't want to leave. May I disturb you for a few moments? I would like to ask a couple of questions. All right. I'm listening. I showed the picture we talked about yesterday to Victoria. She said she knew the man, that he had lived for some time near the castle. Are you sure you don't know who he is? Let me see the picture again. I'm not quite certain, but he resembles one of my patients. I mean, it could possibly even be him. I do not see where this picture could have come from, though. Maybe we can find out. Who could have brought a picture of some madman to the castle? And why? I will go now. All right. Feel free to come back if you need anything. Victoria is... Doctor, can I have a word with you? Yes. All right. Dr. Herman, Victoria told me you had William's personal belongings. Yes, that is true. I would like to see them. Sure. I can show them to you when you come to the morgue tomorrow. I just do not have any idea what you are expecting. Well, I must see them today. Can you help me? Today? Well, all right. Maybe we could do it like this. I will send someone to the main gate with a parcel for you. Will that do? Perfectly. What time will this person come? I will send him as soon as I get back to the autopsy room. Let us say, seven o'clock? I'll be waiting in front of the main gate at exactly seven. It's very important. I hope the person is rel- Do not fear. He will be well settled. Thank you, Doctor. At seven, I have to be in-
There is nothing in it. I'll stay here. Don't know what. I'll leave him to... The bags are full of... They should be carried off into the... I don't want to get dirty. already took a picture of this. The castle is literally surrounded by bushes. I'll have a closer look. Something got stuck between the branches of the shrub. What could it be? Whatever it is, it seems incomplete. I would like to ask you about something. I'm listening. Look at this stone fragment. Does it mean anything to you? No, I wouldn't say so. But yes, I have seen something similar on William's desk. He was very careful with that thing. Only I don't know what the big deal was. He never spoke about it. I won't be opening it. Bates, I would like... I'm listening, sir. I found this at that place you took me to. You mean where Sir William? Yes. I'm quite sure it can shed some light on what has happened. I am not as optimistic as you are, sir. Maybe you should hand the object over to Detective Collier. Bates, this thing may help us discover something new. I know one thing, sir. Sir William is dead, and no one can do anything to change that. You don't happen to believe that it was a suicide or an accident, do you? I have known William too long to believe that. Well, 
I have already offered my opinion on the matter. Can I go now, sir? You surprise me, Bates. I'm sorry, sir. Talk to Henry. He was working on the flower beds that evening. He might know more than I do. It seems to me that Bates knows something he doesn't want to talk about. But why would he do that? No, I'm not too sure. I think I will go now. I'll return to my... I would like a word with you. Certainly, sir. I'm listening. Have a look at this. I found it under the old tower. Why are you showing it to me, sir? Well, I showed it to Bates, and he suggested I speak with you. Do you know anything about it? Me? I don't see why I should. I've never seen anything like it before. He also said you had been trimming the shrubs in the area that afternoon. Yes, that's true. But I have nothing to do with this thing. Calm down. Just tell me what you know about it, that's all. All right, then. But you have to promise you won't tell Madam. I can't afford to lose my job. Of course. Well, I don't really know what it is, but I found a similar piece near that place. Do you have it with you? No, not really. I had to pawn it. I was broke. Pawn? It doesn't seem to be of any special value. Well... Maybe not the one you're holding in your hand, but there was a beautiful gem, a ruby, I'd say, in the one... Where did you pawn it? At Old Murray's. Where else? It's good that you told me while there's still time. Give me your bill of exchange, and I will redeem the object. But I haven't got it. I don't know where I've put it. Henry, it's very important. Try to remember. I have no idea where it could be. But you won't forget about your promise, will you? It's going to stay just between... We shall see. Henry, let's return to that bill of exchange. I knew you'd ask, but believe me, sir, I really... You needed the money, so you conveniently lost the bill of exchange? Well, yes, I needed the money. Not the bill. I really didn't intend to redeem that thing. Somebody... You're going to lose it for sure if you don't give me that bill. You really promised this would stay between us. Henry, you need to realize that this is very important. You had better get that bill for me. I'd give it to you right away if I... Uh, oh, I don't believe a word of what he's saying. I will leave you to your work. I don't... I don't know what we could talk about. yesterday morning. How many years have I actually been in here? It's locked. I 
don't know who you Hi, what's your name? I won't tell you that. I must not talk to strangers. My mum has forbidden me. So, will you tell me your name if I tell you mine? No, I don't know you. Have you got some sweets? Maybe some chocolate? Would you like some sweets? Sure, that would be great. Are they chocolate? I don't really know. My name is Samuel Gordon. Will you tell me your name too? Well, why not then? I'm Vic. Do you know of anything interesting going on around here? I haven't been in this place in a very long time. Hmm, probably not. Nothing much happens here. This village is terribly boring, you know. I see. Can I go play again? Of course. Watch out for the windows. Yeah, don't worry. Vic. Have you ever seen the man in this picture? Let me see. No, I guess I haven't. I would have surely remembered that one. He looks pretty stupid. Why are you looking for him, Samuel? Are you related? You had better watch your mouth. Come on, that was just a joke. It's full of dirty water. Maybe Harry puts it under the gutter when it's raining. The day's menu. Roe deer on cream. Harry's wife always did cook well. It's empty. Bueno, pues hasta aquí. Gracias por ver el vídeo.